Yo everyone, welcome back to the daily vlog. We're going to be talking about something that has been taking up front space of my mind and that is the London housing market. Now I'm in Washington DC right now and I'm going to be moving to London in less than two weeks. I'm gonna be flying out September 2nd. My lease here though ends August 31st. And so um, I'm gonna be staying at a hostel actually um, my last couple of nights here in DC. And then I'm off to London where as of now, I am free falling. I do not have a place secured and it's just been so crazy. Like I, I knew ahead of time of how like bad the housing market was. But it's just like experiencing it firsthand, um, the tediousness of it all um, is quite uh, demoralizing to say the least. Um, I'm not, I'm not like panicked in the sense that I know that I'll be able to find a place to exist once I get there. It may not be a flat. Um, it. It may not, yeah, it may not be a flat, but I know I'll, I'll be able to stay at a hostel, you know, um, a hotel, um, and, you know, buy time before, um, before shit really hits the fan. So we have that going for us, but the thing is, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. So basically I been looking at all the housing that's been available and there's only like a few listings that you'll find in any neighborhood uh, near and far from central London all the way um, out west to Ealing Broadway. There are a lot of flat shares and you know, I think that's the route I'm gonna have to go down is just take a big old gamble and you know, partake in a flat share. It's not my first choice. It's not, it's, it's barely even my last choice, if I'm being quite frank, but that seems to be the only um, attainable option if I want to be able to arrive in London and immediately find m myself a place because it, it is very stressful and I, I do have a, a lot of stuff that I'm going to be carrying with me. You know, it's not like a regular travel where you just take a, a backpack and a, a carry on like luggage suitcase like no i'm going to be traveling with two big old suitcases uh, a, a traveling rolling suitcase and also my backpack and so it's going to be it's going to be a lot of stuff that i'm schlepping around a lot of stuff that i'm schlepping around but you know i guess i'm just gonna to have to deal with having a flat share i the thing is my university does um provide housing and I say provide as if it's like a socialist thing. Um, I can get housing, I can pay for housing from my university. The thing is, is they're doing th this new thing because they said it on the website, they're doing this new thing where um, after enrollment, after you've like verified your visa information and all that lovely stuff online, after that, that's when you'll be able to um, confirm, like reserve a spot um for the housing and so i don't have that information yet i'm waiting for um, my visa um, my passport to come back to me it's uh right now as we're filming this it's august 26 and it's supposed to be at most again who knows what actually is going to happen but at most it's a, it's supposed to take is by tomorrow by the 27th so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully by then we'll we'll get the um, visa situated. But the funny thing is, even if that wasn't the case, like even if I was able to um, reserve a spot, um, I still wouldn't be able to pay for it. Not because I don't have enough money for it, but because I need a UK bank account. Um, I have a UK bank account. I just don't have a way of transferring money from my US account to my British account. And I ran into this problem actually like half a year ago, um, my my transfer wise, <laughs> I got hacked, got, got fucking hacked. Uh, and it's just been a nightmare trying to fix it. Um, we, I've been talking to customer service today. And so um, 
they're gonna get back to me in two days on my case, which is lovely. So the point is, I, I came across that I was reminded, I was reminded of this problem because there was a um, house listing offer and I was wanting to um, apply for it. I was wanting to put a deposit down for it, but because I can't access my accounts through TransferWise because I can't move money from my US account to my British account, I'm, I'm, I'm st stumped for at least two days and I'm stumped for, yeah, let's say at least two days on getting my uh, visa passport back to do the student accommodation with my university. So it's, it's, it's like, what is it, catch 22? I'm between a rock and a hard place, you guys. I'm, I'm between a rock and a hard place. And yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm stressed, but like, I rather have this stress than the stress of being in the United States for another year. I have to put this in, I have to use that, like to put things into perspective because no matter how discomforting this is, no matter how infuriating this is, it is a lot, it's a lot better of a situation than having to deal with being here any amount longer. I love this country. Obviously, I, I, I love this country, but it's time for me to um, go off if you will, and, uh, you know, live a life that I, I'm trying to live for myself. You know, we took a lot of L's this past year and we, we didn't get to enjoy uh, that much of life in the same ways that we feel entitled to, particularly at this age and junction. So, yeah, I am really, uh, yeah. London housing market, shite. I don't have confidence that I'll be able to get my ideal situation, but I am confident that, you know, push comes to shove. I might have to move around a lot more, but I will have a place to sleep at night, so we don't have to be worried about that. Um, I, let's just hope the final stretch of luck. Well, let's let let it not be the final stretch of luck, because I feel like we're still going to be needing a lot of luck. Still going to be needing a lot of luck, but let the final stretch happen with a, a bunch of luck, and let's let let's just hope and pray that everything aligns, simpatico, and. You know, I we can look back at this video and be like, Ricky, you did your best to keep your, to, you did your best to keep a calm head. And yes, you were stressed, but look, look at where you are now. You got a roof over your head. You've unpacked your suitcases. And now you got a sneaky link coming over. <laughs> um, thank you so much guys for letting me just like get off of my chest. Cause whew, it's, it's, it's a lot. Um, especially when you're by yourself and you don't have anyone to help you. My mom, bless her heart, not coming up with all the solutions that I, I would need, but at least she's helping me, which is a step up. So <laughs> anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video, hopefully with some more details on my life and the travel plan arrangements of everything and moving to London. I still haven't talked to too much about my school, which I can't wait to share you guys more of that. A lot of exciting stuff to come up. So until then, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love, bye. It's a daily vlog.